Are these little pills the fountain of youth? It's called rapamycin. Robert Berger takes the drug. How old are you, Robert? I'm 69. You look good for 69. How long have you been taking this drug? Uh, since March. It looks like my gums and which I've had problems with my whole life, have improved. He says he has more energy and hopes it will extend his life. Rapamycin is used by transplant patients to keep organs from being rejected. It's been around for 50 years, but now researchers are excited about another potential use to stop the aging clock. Lab mice given the drug extended their lives by 20%. Dr. Matt Caberline is not only researching the drug, he's taking it. I think there's a very good chance that rapamycin could have health benefits for many people. And slow the aging process? Yes, I think we know from every animal where it's been studied that rapamycin slows biological aging. I'm all for anti-aging. <laughs> <laughs> also taking the drug, 47-year-old billionaire Brian Johnson. He's earned international fame for spending more than $2 million a year to try to stop his biological clock. He takes 50 supplements a day, including rapamycin. While promising, rapamycin is gaining in popularity off-label. Much like Ozempic, which was developed to treat diabetes, but is now also used for weight loss. I think it's important, though, that this is done in the context of working with a physician. It is a prescription medication. I certainly would not encourage people to go get rapamycin without working through their physician.